Creo que lo de siempre, siempre ando buscando pichos que yo me tiran siempre los rompientes y más en esa situación así, siempre tratando de tirarme mucho quebrado. Y como yo soy una persona que siempre estoy activo con la reta, yo fui a buscar ese, ese picheo quebrado y creo que la descripción de ese momento no puede haber una porque es demasiado emocionante. There, there's no way to describe it. it's such an exciting moment that it's hard for me to put into words. But um, during the AB, I was looking for a breaking pitch. I know myself and I know I can react to the fastball, so I was just trying to get myself in a better position for the breaking pitch. What was it like playing in, in such a long game? I mean, I guess it's probably the longest game you've ever played in. And it was a cold day out there. What was that like standing out there in right field, especially? You didn't get a lot of action. Que se siente en un juego tan largo y sobre todo con estas condiciones de frío, quizá uno de los más largos que tú has jugado. Creo que, que yo no le doy mucha mente a eso. Creo que no le doy mucha mente a eso. Yo trato de poner lo mejor de mí. Yo no importa cuánto y me vayan, yo siempre voy a salir como que si el primer ini y el primer, la primera entrada, todo eso. Este, creo que no voy, no voy pensando de que un juego largo, esto, solamente tratando de, de, de hacer algo para que el equipo gane y dar lo mejor de mí cada día en el terreno. I don't give too much mind in terms of what the conditions out there, how many innings. I try to play every inning like the first one, and I always focus on giving the best effort to my team. So I feel that was like a great opportunity just to give my best every single inning. Has it sunk in yet? There's a looking just did. Ha realmente entendido realmente lo que acaba de pasar, como darte cuenta realmente lo grande que ha sucedido. Este, creo que sí, por lo, nada más con yo ver los fanáticos que se pararon y todo eso, y y más que estamos llevando algo. Algo más allá de, de todo, creo que algo super emocionante. Yeah, I feel so in a way, the way how the fans reacted is a, is a, is a wake up call to see where, where we are, what are we doing, but most importantly, where we want to go. When he was running around the bases to see your teammates, when he was at home, what was, what was that? 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 What desde el principio todos juntos siempre y, y ese momento ahí fue súper emocionante eso no hay discreción para eso solamente como estamos ahora emocionados y es just very special I mean seeing them then especially little guys that I see my whole life and I've been playing alongside them so it's kind of like very special to get to that point where seeing them is just very special it's the kind of moment you dream about when you're a little kid el momento que tú sueñas cuando eres un niño. Sí, sí, eso es lo, lo único que yo tengo siempre en mi mente desde que yo era un niño, era jugar pelota, jugar aquí en, en Grande Liga y, y esto mismo que estoy pasando es eh, uno de mis sueños que de niño yo tengo en mi mente. Definitely. <coughs> that, this is a, these are the things that I've been dreaming since I was a kid, you know, playing in the, the major leagues and win, win championships and tournaments. So this is what I'm doing. Did you know instantly it was as a home run? Sabía de una vez que le diste que era un Sí, sí, supe de una vez, supe que puse un buen batazo a la pelota y con la dirección que, que iba la pelota yo me lo imaginé. Yeah, right away I knew it was a good, good connection and also the angle where the ball was going, I knew it was going to be home. I mean, he started a season in the minors and now played a big role. And now he does this, just how does this feel to make this sort of progress? Like this? ¿Cómo se siente ese tipo de progreso? O sea, empezar a temporar las menores y tener un papel tan importante como que acaba de tener. Este, creo que se siente muy bien, muy bien. Este, como yo siempre digo, yo siempre voy a trabajar fuerte. Yo sé el talento que yo tengo y, y esto, esto que yo estoy viviendo ahora es un sueño cumplido, real. Y creo que es algo súper emocionante. Y yo vengo a trabajar duro y a poner lo mejor de mí. This is really very exciting, but also very special because I know the talent that I have. And, and knowing that, I just focus on working hard the way I get done and I want to continue working hard to keep enjoying these type of moments. When you're up in extra innings in a tie game, is it kind of natural to just try to hit a home run? I mean, do you have to like kind of fight that or what, 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 what's that? En un momento un juego de extraño así de la mentalidad es, oye, quiero que eres un trono o cómo haces para controlar un poco ese deseo de querer ser un poco más. Yo te creo que la mentalidad no, nunca puede ser esa. Creo que la única mentalidad que hubo en, en esas situaciones es poner buen, buen batazo a la pelota, caiga donde caiga, este, trata de poner algo pa, para ayudar al equipo a ganar y creo que eso era lo único que yo estaba buscando, buscar buen, buen golpe con la pelota y 
So always. I think you can never have that mindset, you know, looking for a homer, it just doesn't help. I think for me, it's always trying to get a good connection, try to get the barrel of the ball and try to help the team anyway. So that was my focus in this particular AB, knowing the pitch that I was going to get and trying to get a good connection. What was going through your mind when the, the Jose played a nailer there, I think it was 12? Big stretch by Naylor and the great throw by Jose. What was going through your mind when you saw the play in the second inning and when you saw Jose Naylor? I know the talent that I have in the two. And I think it's not a surprise to say that Jose is an incredible player. I admire him a lot as he plays the ball and is a guy that is always going to give him the best of him. And I think it's very exciting that they did this class of play, but... They did this class of play, but... Yo siempre sé el, el gran talento que yo ten, tienen y yo voy jugando con ellos y lo único que pasó por mi mente fue una emoción grande. I mean, it was a, a great excitement, but I was confident that was going to be a play because I know and I'm aware of the talent that Jose Ramirez has and I admire the way how he plays and the way how he behaves himself on the field. So for me, you know, it was a close play, but I was confident that we were able to turn. You did have two of the teams uh, five hits, but uh, when you saw that go up, you heard the collective, you know, oh, noise from the audience. Did that just, was there some relief that you felt like it weighed off your shoulders, like finally, when you saw that, uh, when you saw it head? Quizás sentiste un poco de alivio, tal pronto como sentiste que se hizo la buena conexión y viste la reacción de los fanáticos. Sí, sí, me sentí emocionado. Yo nada más salí de ahí, vi los fanáticos arriba, vi a Titi ahí, a Sandy. Creo que fue algo que emocionante, no hay explicación, no hay explicación alguna, solo emoción entró a mi corazón, a mi vida y le doy gracias a Dios, me voy antes de, de, del turno, le, le pedí a Dios que me brinde lo que, lo que él quiera y yo lo voy a aceptar como sea. I wouldn't feel, I wouldn't call it relief, I was just kind of like excited to get the, all the things happening. My first reaction was seeing some of the fans getting up, but also seeing Sandy in first place reacting. And, and before the AB, I just, you know, did a little prayer and asked to God, just let me do something good for my team. And, and that more than relief is more the satisfaction to being able to do that for the team. One more quick thing. How'd you lose your, hurt? up your belts on the... ¿Cómo fue que perdiste la correa cuando te tiraste un segundo? Eh, creo que se, se rompió el, el broche, se rompió y es solo eso. I think like the, the holder just broke when I sleep. Yeah. Head first. <laughs> Thank you.